Question number 12. Got Milk LLC, a small regional dairy plant, has configured a single backup job using the reverse incremental backup mode containing four virtual machines with a strict RPO of 24 hours due to legal requirements. An additional backup to tape job has been configured to target their four drive tape library. An operations engineer discovers only a single tape drive appears to be used and that the backup to tape job is interrupted by the source backup job. What should the operations engineer do? Okay, so there's two potential things we want to think about here. First of all, it says that they have four drives in, in a library, and since we can use one of those, we, we must be able to talk correctly with the library. So I don't think it's going to be any driver issues, anything like that, uh, at least causing us uh, to not be able to use multiple drives. The second thing is that the backup tape job is being interrupted, but let's go down here and, and take a look. Uh, so we see some options here. Reconfigure the backup job to use the forever forward incremental backup mode. Okay, mm, sure, we, 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 we could do that. That would uh, also mean that we think using reverse incremental is a part of the problem. So uh, I'll let that hang a little bit. Perform an active full. <sighs> Don't really think this is necessarily uh, going to be that helpful. So then, okay, now I have a new full, but uh, with the existing stuff we have going on, it's, it's not able to finish. So why would this be helpful? In the advanced tab of the advanced setting, so advanced, advanced, very advanced, of the backup to tape job, enable the use hardware compression if available checkbox. Well, the thing is, when we talk about backups, unless it was mentioned here that uh, for some strange reason, the backup job had all compression disabled, it's not really going to give us any real benefit here because Veeam is already producing blocks that are compressed, at least with the optimal compression of two to one, so enabling hardware compression is probably going to give us very, very little benefit. Reconfigure the backup repository to enable the use per VM backup files checkbox. Okay. And then we have in the backup to tape job, enable the prevent this job from being interrupted by source backup jobs checkbox. Okay. So there's a few things here that we uh, potentially uh, want to think about. Uh, so if we decide to go down the path of saying use per VM backup files, why would we want to do that? Well, when we use reverse incremental up here, the issue that we're seeing is that this will produce backup files. Now, it also means every time this is running, it will have to uh, send a full down to uh, the tape. This is not necessarily a, a problem. Maybe this is what they want to do. So the first thing uh, that they really um, are seeing here is that it, it's only using a single tape drive. So that tells me that this job is probably targeting a repository that has per job backup files, meaning we get one big VBK and some VRB files that contain multiple virtual machines. So this is one chain. Now one chain goes to one tape drive. So we could go and change this repository to use per VM backup files. That would mean we would have multiple chains and I could start using more than one tape drive. Problem with this is to actually have any effect from this change, I would also have to go and perform an active full. So I would say, these two uh, should be the correct ones. We, we have some mention down here that says uh, in the back of the tape job, enable the prevent this job from being interrupted. This is a real uh, setting. This is a real setting. But what does this mean? It means that when a backup to tape job is running, if the source job starts, this will, will get killed. Right? It's going to stop before it's finished. That's why it, it's getting interrupted. If you go and put this checkbox, it will basically prevents this source backup job from interrupting this. But uh, we had a strict RPO of 24 hours, meaning this backup job has to run every 24 hours. If this is, is uh, still running, preventing this from running 
well, then this is going to get violated. So this is not necessarily a, a helpful setting in, in this context uh, of, of what we're working with here. So I would say we want to speed this up by using multiple tape drives inside this library.